Did you know that Margot Fontaine was originally known as Peggy Hookham? She changed to her stage name when she was grooming to become a professional ballerina. Hi, I'm your host, Star Session, and you're watching The Dance Plug Dish. Our hearts go out to everyone impacted by the recent events in the Boston community. One seven-year-old Irish dancer, Jane Richard, sadly lost a leg from the marathon explosion, while her brother passed away and her mother was seriously injured. The Irish community has come together and is stepping up to support in many ways. Some are collecting hundreds of t-shirts from Irish schools to make quilts for her and her family. Others are organizing dance benefits, and many are sending donations to the Richards. It's inspiring to see them come together to help a fellow dancer in need. Before I reveal my song pick this week, let's take a look at a video from Ben's song selection from our last episode. Shereya J. Banji, choreography by Tony Zarr. I'm fancy, I'm so fine, I can't stand me. You just a nominee, baby, I'm a Grammy. I'm so hot, y'all better come fan me. Y'all chicks better listen before you think about this. I got a crew of girls and we always on a mission. When we come through the club, pumping and twisting, we different, no bitch, and there will be no ass kissing. Okay, so now here's my song pick for the week. Calvin Harris featuring Ellie Golding. I need your love. It's a really dope electronic dance track, and it has some smooth beats with some syncopated lyrics, which you can choreograph to, doing a, maybe a contemporary jazz or jazz funk combo. So create some moves and share it with us so you can possibly be featured on the next episode of The Dish. Hot news. After the huge success of the Be Free Shoes, Dancers can now sport Brian Friedman's gear from head to toe. Meant to bring out the individual through a stylish, comfortable design, the Brian Says Be Free line is rolling out clothes with some serious swag. And who else would he have brought on board than the stylist, Marina Toybina, whom he worked with on The X Factor, a collaboration that led to an Emmy for an outstanding costume design. Enough said, get your own Flying Monk hoodie or Rider pants at bsbf.com website. April 26th through May 5th is National Dance Week, and there are all kinds of events happening across the country, including a national dance flash mob on April 27th, choreographed by Sarah Jo Fazio, and featuring dancers from throughout the U.S. of A. Also coming up on April 27th, the Mashed Up Benefit will be presenting an evening of contemporary dance to raise funds for the performing arts education. The concert proceeds will benefit Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles, Ola, and LA's Best. And for a a fiery conclusion to National Dance Week, Carmography is bringing the heat to the Madrid Theater on May 5th. Their full-length show, Bollywood Rise, features a fusion of Indian and Western dance styles with over 20 dancers, singers, and musicians. UK pop group Little Mix caught my eye with their track Wings. Now they're letting us know that they're gonna fly because if you're not into it, you need to get into them. They do a five, six, seven, eight at the end of the video where they are backed up by all male dancers. Hot. The four hot and sexy ladies of this group also incorporate a chair prop to their choreography and they execute it precisely. I can't wait to see more videos from this pop group. To ring in the month of May, Dance Camera West is presenting its 12th annual media film festival, Get Wet, a celebration of screen dance, live dance, and water. Yep, it's as awesome as it sounds, seriously. Running May 2nd to May 5th, it will include live performances, Q&A sessions, film screenings, featuring works from artists such as Sarah Elgart, Emery LaCroon, Wayne McGregor, Tony Testa, Daniel Ezrillo, Kitty McNamee, and so much more. Though some of the portions of the festival are ticketed, others are free and open to the public. Speaking of dance films, a new work directed by Lily Baldwin is in need of your backing to see completion. Sleepover LA takes place in the Standard Hotel of downtown Los Angeles where two women spend an eccentric evening and end up trading places. As a project sparked by the partnership of Baldwin and Nicole Disson, and including dancers like Mecca Andrews, Austin West Bay, Reshma Gajar, and Jasmine Albuquerque, it's jam-packed with some brilliant creative talent. Want to help? Well, they've got a Kickstarter campaign running through May 10th. Get on board. We're done here for this episode, but before you go, be sure to check out our featured plugger, Regina Crosco, to find out why her choreo has earned her the nickname Robot Girl. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, Star Session, and hashtag BAM. Wasn't that a good episode? I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>